Okay, so um, we're in the shed. This is the shed. Welcome to the shed. Um, at the moment, 12 volt batteries. I've got two banks, 24. We're running it. At, and that's just with them two on. These are some transfer switches, the manual ones that I've got, uh, meter, some single ones. So my idea is, upstairs in the uh, in, in the flat, it's got um, a box next to the consumer unit which sends electric down here. And then in the PC room upstairs, it's got its own unit in there. So what I wanted to do is run down here and run the PC room up there and not the whole entire flat. Uh, so, 32 amp out. So I have to make sure everything's 32 amps. And I've got this 32 amp standalone, which I want this connecting to that some surge protector thingy into electric box light to play it safe I went with one of these um, now the only downside is what I'm trying to think of now is I want to be able to switch them off if like yesterday I've only got four panels I've only got four panels on go um, and there was nothing coming off it there's only the computer so it was running maximum it was overheating it was over everything so I'd like something that I could switch panels off because there's going to be but they're all going to be full then you know like um, mm, I don't know so then I've gone in <coughs> online and uh, thought I was doing really well by buying one of these automatic things I don't know, I think it was about £40 £30 something, I don't know and uh, they're not what I thought they were basically one of the guys off the internet has took it to bits and it's basically trips and in the middle is that and all that does is push a bar that flicks the trips, flicks the trips that side automatically. But the time it takes to do it is very slow, and it comes to a point where they're actually crossing over. That I understand what he means. There could be 400 volts there instead of 220 because they'll both add together. Um, let's see what we've got going. trying to get the internet so how can we do this Bullshit. I understand some of it not all of it I understand obviously the batteries the voltage coming in and the wattage and the output, but I thought we was 240 this country. Obviously, it works at 230. Don't know. Don't know. I need more batteries. I need more batteries. And also, that I noticed this morning when I've connected it up to get it running, some some data really fits sparky when it comes later. Um, the batteries are flooded. I think these are called flooded batteries and 100% but I've just changed the settings on that to flooded so for the past couple of days I mean it's not proper I just wanted to get them at some sort of angle to um, there's one on shed and there's one on dog's roof
I'm going to make a frame. I'm going to have to replaster the fence panels, as you can see. And then I want to make a frame. I bought that in a couple of weeks ago, that scaffolding pole, because on there I want to put a um, sun tracker with a panel on it and get it, because I, I get these trees in my way. But it does actually start there. I'm actually right over to where it is now. All the way over to there. And it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Earthing system. Oh god, I'm going on. I wanted to make a 60 second one. Earthing system. So I've been told about lightning strikes. These panels attract the lightning. Well, we've got a storm coming as it is. So I, I, I need to put in this, these copper rods in the in the ground so I've done that now I'm told it has to be eight foot not four foot so now I'm gonna take them out and put eight foots in oh anyhow hey ho this is how it happens but yeah hopefully by tonight and I've got my own little meters as well to tell me how much juice I'm making or saving on the electric bill so I'm hoping that this standard unit will get changed. This switch will go in the in in the hopefully. Okay, well Thanks for watching. Uh welcome to my little solar abode. Obviously I'll make more in time, but thank you to you all. Thank you.